Sinus infections affect millions of people in the U.S. each year. Sinusitis is a common condition, affecting 20 to 30 percent of the population, occurring more often with women. We had the pleasure of speaking to Dr. Donald Dennis from ENT and Facial Plastic Surgery in Atlanta, Georgia. He discusses the sinuses and the symptoms that occur with sinusitis. A sinus is all the air-filled cavities in your face and head. So you have eight, uh, four pairs, so you have eight total. Sinusitis is an inflammation of those sinuses. It can be from allergy or it can be bacterial infection or fungal infection or both. They'll have facial pain, headache uh, under the eyes or over the eyes. They have a runny nose or nasal congestion, inability to breathe through the nose, loss of smell, post-nasal drip, and then it'll last a long time with chronic sinusitis, up to three months, uh, and with treating with antibiotics and recurring, or uh, four different episodes a year requiring antibiotics is what chronic means. Chronic sinusitis is about 50 million people altogether. Those are the ones that have it repeatedly after antibiotic treatment. That's the definition of chronic sinusitis. So it's interesting that the definition includes that they must fail antibiotic therapy, which proves it's not uh, all the bacterial. The pain from sinusitis can be severe. The pain is caused by the sinuses are swollen shut. The, uh, opening to the sinus is blocked, and so we get back pressure in there, and that causes the pain. Dr. Dennis compares acute and chronic sinus infections. There's two kinds, acute and chronic. Acute, it could be anything. You just get a cold or a viral infection, and it's gone. You don't have it anymore. Um, the chronic is more commonly caused by fungal uh, immune reactions. and. Uh, They'll have a secondary bacterial infection, so most people will treat the bacterial infection. And uh, if it keeps recurring, it's more likely that it's fungus because uh, antibiotic would have gotten rid of the bacteria. Treating a person for fungal infection in the sinuses also includes the air they breathe. You got to get rid of the fungus in the sinuses, uh, but more importantly, you got to get rid of its source, which is uh, twofold. Number one is the air. And number two is the body, because uh, once they've had all those antibiotics, they usually get a gut full of yeast, and uh, that's also a fungus. So they got to change their diet and get on a low-carb diet, and then we got to uh, kill the fungus in the sinuses by irrigation with salt water and uh, citra drops, which is an antifungal, viral, and bacterial, and then we uh, give them a nose spray that's antifungal. One is citra drops, or also a number of other ones that are antifungal. And uh, sometimes they need decongestants or antihistamines, but most of them, uh, if you get rid of the fungus, uh, the congestion stops. There's an immune support thing called sinus defense, which is helping the antibody levels for those organisms go up in the blood by uh, transfer factor, which is in that spray. And that gives, makes them more resistant to the fungus and the bacteria. Dr. Dennis discusses a resource for learning more about chronic sinus conditions. Microbalance Health is a company that we started in order to help people educate themselves on how to treat uh, long-term sinus infections. And uh, it has all the products that you need for the nose uh, and body and the ones that you need to clean the fungus out of the air. Um, and then it's just a way that people can educate themselves um, and start getting some wellness without um, a lot of prescriptions.